Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay Will. So the iPhone 7 Plus is it's IP67, so it's not full waterproof, but OEMs are already making cases for it. And um, here is one of them. In this case retails for $29.99 right now. It's on sale actually. Uh, the regular price I think is $60 or something like that, or $69. And it's got like $40 off. Yeah. So it's uh, regular $69, $40 off. And there's the case. And it comes in all these different colors here. I would just say get the black if you, you know, just want to keep it simple. But it does have these different colors. you got transparent and everything. So it's pretty cool. Uh, but the again, the iPhone is 60, IP67. So you can't really submerge it in water for long periods of time. But with this case, you actually can. This case is waterproof, freeze-proof. It's just everything proof. So we're going to take a stab at it. I'm going to go sit my phone in some water for a little while. In this case, it's really sealed up uh, very well. The seals on here are just crazy. So you've got a little switch here, a little rotating switch for the um, for the vibrate switch. And you got your volume rocker right there. Got the little design here. This, this is actually texture on here. It may not look like it, but there's texture on this case. Uh, where these little arrows point, it's actually texture there. Going around the bottom here, you've got a little opening here for the speaker. And you've got, uh, I mean, microphone, and then speakers over here, looks like. Uh, and then you've got a little lanyard there. And then you've got a spot for the charge and sync area. It is there. You can leave your phone in this case. Um, going around this side, you got the arrows coming up again with a little bit of texture. you got the power button. On the top here, you've got their logo. Very hard to see. Spider case. There it is. Spider case. And then, you know, you got a little hook here, a little soft little thing. You can hook it around something. Uh, but let's pry this open here because it's going to be very tight fit because it's going to have that waterproof seal. Sorry if I gave you a little bumpy cam. Yeah, this, this is what I thought. It's got a really, which is what you want with a waterproof case. You want it to seal up snug. And here we go. We get into the case and you've got um, a lanyard. You got a little belt clip thing. You got a cleaning cloth. You got some instructions here. Uh, this this case is it, it supposedly can do everything, uh, water resistance and everything. Freeze. You could freeze this and unfreeze it. Uh, like if you get caught in the snow or something like that, you could actually your your phone will be okay. Now the real test here is I have a tempered glass on here and I'm gonna leave it on here. Because this this is a pretty big case, so it should be able to yeah, it just, it's really loose around there. So that's a good thing. So if you have a tempered glass on there, um, I'll be able to seal this up pretty well. Because you can see how deep it, it sit. You push it down in here, and it's really deep um, in there. It really sits snug in there. Now we got to seal this up, and it's going to take some some snap in here. I want to test the camera as well. Yeah, it's sealing up really good with my tempered glass. Okay, good. Now, I don't, I don't think they probably recommend you leave a tempered glass on here, <laughs> uh, but it does fit with the tempered glass because there's so much room in there um, that it actually works. Fingerprint reader works good. I'm getting notifications. Touch sensitivity is eh, it's okay. I'm not going to sit up here and tell you that the touch sensitivity is perfect because it's definitely not. Um, but uh, let's open up the camera here. And the camera looks okay. It looks like um, with my tempered glass on there, it's kind of blocking a sensor or something like that. Um, but it it does it does work. So you you lose that swiping ability from the bottom. So um, and you definitely lose a little bit of touch sensitivity. So let's go to display. I'm gonna brighten up the display here. Yeah, it's way down. There you go. I think something might be t covering a sensor up top. Definitely because. Uh, the, the screen is definitely dumbing down on me, but there you have it, man. Um, the camera looks like it works pretty good. No problems with it. Touch sensitivity is a little limited with this case, um, but it's a it's one of those impact cases, like protection cases. So let me twist this. There you go. Ringer, vibrate ringer works good. Nice. Uh, volume rocker here. Fingerprint reader, reader works good, so volume's good. Now let's go downstairs, and I'm gonna put this in some water, uh, and um, leave it in there for a little bit. And uh, 
Let's see what happens. All right, guys, back up in the room here. I'll play some of that footage. This phone is freezing cold. I left it in there for about 10 minutes uh, just to kind of see what will happen with it. And so it's good. Uh, everything still works on here. But the real test is when I crack this open, there's going to be water inside. And you know what? I doubt it. The case has gotten a little harder because I dipped it in water. And then I <laughs> put it right in the freezer. So you can saw it, see because either. So, looking at it, there's no water inside the case. It's in the seal, though. And so let's take my phone out. I got kind of, whoo, this phone is cold, man. I cannot tell you how cold this phone is. Uh, so, I think the little condensation there is from, just from it being cold. Yeah, it's just from it being cold. But the phone is definitely cold, like really cold. And I'll pop that footage up at the end or somewhere in the video, but everything looks good on here, man. Uh, let me turn this brightness back down. Uh, but wow, yeah, this case is definitely waterproof. Uh, looking inside the case here, I think this little kind of, oh, that's actually on the outside. Yeah, that's that's on the outside. So inside the case, no water, it stayed sealed up. Um, I could actually, I could have probably left it in there a long time, but I got my, you know, I need to get some phone calls, guys. <laughs> but yeah, this phone is freezing cold. It was only in there for about 10 minutes, maybe. Uh, but it's definitely working. The case definitely is one uh, that can protect your phone from water and ice. Uh, nothing, again, nothing inside the case. The water did stay along the seal there. And it's good. Wow. So good job, good job with this case, man. Um, I'll let it air out and dry out. So if ever I'm going somewhere, if I'm going uh, back up to the Yak or Jersey or somewhere, I definitely take this case if I'm going to be in a lot of snow because I know this case will protect my iPhone 7 Plus. They do have these for the iPhone 7 as well, uh, but uh, hit the link in the description and you could grab one of these yourself for your iPhone 7 Plus uh, or iPhone 7. Wow, this phone is cold. Thanks, guys, for watching. Peace.